The 2025 Toyota Camry. One of the biggest changes here is of course gonna be the looks, both inside and out. But I was surprised. I was expecting a more dramatic change in the exterior design. However, this looks very similar to the current generation Camry, which is not a bad thing. And it simply has the new Prius headlights and front fascia kind of slapped on top of it. Same thing with the rear end. It hasn't drastically changed. So leave your thoughts below in the comment section. We do have some new wheel designs here and they all look nice. And I will talk about the interior space a little bit later. First of all, let's establish the trim levels. They are talking about three trims here. The base model is going to be the SE. Then you have the XSE and the XLE. The SE and the XSE, those are your sport models, if you will. And the XLE, it's more so of your more luxury-esque Camry. Now, under the hood, the V6 engine is gone. In fact, there are no traditional engine options here. The only powertrain option is the hybrid system, the fifth generation Toyota hybrid system with front wheel drive or an on-demand all wheel drive system. And we have 232 horsepower, which is 30 more than the current generations mechanical all-wheel drive Camry. And that's great. Honestly, I don't really mind this. At the end of the day, Toyota has been building hybrid vehicles for over two decades now, and they have been bulletproof. And over the years, they've just gotten better and better. So this is a solid powertrain option. And I think this is going to fit the needs of the average buyer the best. And Toyota offers like a 10 year, 150,000 mile warranty on the battery pack. So that's great to see. Once again, this is a two and a half liter, four cylinder, naturally aspirated engine made it to two electric motors. When you go with the front wheel drive, horsepower goes down to about 225. You had to get the all wheel drive to get the 232 combined horsepower. Okay, moving on. Uh, they have also re-engineered the suspension and the braking system for a balanced handling and comfortable feel. But the sport models like the SE and the XSE have a specific sport tuned suspension with increased comfort while providing better stability, handling, and confidence behind the wheel. In my opinion, with this new Camry, I think the XSE is the one to go with because I do like their sport tuned suspension. It doesn't really compromise on comfort at all. So I like the XSE and I like the more aggressive looks that come with that. But when you go with either the XSE or the XLE models, you get a quieter cabin space because you get standard front side acoustic laminated glass to help reduce wind noise and harshness. And that's great because Typically, wind noise and Toyota, they go together like peanut butter and jelly. I'm telling you, it's almost like you can't have a Toyota without wind noise. And I'm glad that they have at least tried to address that here with this new generation Camry with the higher trim level. So I would skip the SE and I would definitely try to go with an XSE. Obviously, we don't have pricing on any of these vehicles, but just for this reason alone, I think it is worth upgrading in trim level. I kind of joked there about the wind noise thing, uh, but it is true just about every Toyota does have some form of this, uh, especially out on the highway. However, the Toyota Crown I tested recently, the XLE base model, I was really impressed with that. That was a solid Toyota product. It felt sure footed. It came with a solid interior space. The vehicle felt great to drive and it was relatively quiet and it didn't have a crazy uh, rattly four-cylinder sound coming through. They did a great job insulating that engine from the cabin. And I hope to see some of that here with this Camry, but we can't expect too much. It is a Camry at the end of the day. It's way down the totem pole. The Crown is basically one of the best cars that they make. It's their top flagship product for sedans. But anyway, this Camry comes with an all new interior space and the SE models come with a black soft text trim seat and the XSE adds the standard leather. But what you have to understand is they have redesigned the seats for all the trim levels to make it more comfortable. And that is accurate. The latest Toyota Lexus seats, they are on point, very comfortable, very supportive and non-fatiguing. So that's a great change. I'm glad to see that regarding the seats. Uh, the XLE, it comes with that more luxurious feeling cabin. It's going to be the first Camry to feature leather and the Dynamica microfiber trim seats. It's going to be offered in light gray or black with a 
quilted pattern and the tech got updated to what the latest Toyota Lexus products now use. Uh, for 2025, we get a seven inch gauge cluster as standard on the SE, but you move up, you get the 12.3 inch uh, fully digital gauge cluster on the higher trims. And also on the higher trims, you get the 10 inch heads up display. Regarding the infotainment, standard you get the eight inch screen, but once again, you step up, you get a 12.3 inch infotainment screen with wireless Apple CarPlay and wireless Android Auto and a wireless charging pad. All of that is standard. Even on the eight inch screen, the base model SE, you're gonna get all of those features. You also get over the air updates and that's it. That's everything new with the 2025 Toyota Camry. It's only a hybrid now. You have the ability of getting it with the all wheel drive. We have re-engineered suspension and braking and great safety tech as standard. You know, you move up in trim level, you get additional safety tech like the uh, 360 camera, some more parking sensors, traffic jam assist, etc. But for the most part, it's coming pretty well equipped, even as an SE. But once again, you step up in trim, you get the quieter cabin with the better front glass. And that's great. I hope to test this vehicle. I want to make sure it is a quality and quiet, solid feeling product. I'm very interested in testing out the seats. And the other good news is the new Toyota technology, the infotainment and all that, it works flawlessly. I really appreciate it. It's really clean the way that it's laid out and the way that it is implemented in the cabin space. But once again, leave your thoughts below in the comment section. Do you like this car and do you plan on purchasing this vehicle in the future? But thank you so much for watching. Take care and goodbye.